All right, people, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. Oh my god, I, you know what? I'm still not used to all the subscribers, and of course, with the subscribers comes a lot of views. I was like, yo, why did Vitamin Y get over 100 views? Hello? <laughs> so, I saw you guys' comments. Thank you guys for all the support on Vitamin Y. You know, I definitely didn't want to take it out, but, uh, you know, the, 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 the big YouTubers apparently said I was spamming y'all too much, but uh, uh, the views don't lie. You guys are clearly watching the content, you know? I mean, out of the, the videos that went up on Monday, Vitamin Y is the least, but hey, you know, not everybody's here for you belt. but of course, I'm Ubel Mastery, I'm going to provide that Ubel content, so if you guys want to watch it, watch it, but if not, that's cool as well. Anyway, we are back, and today we are using Labradite Ubel, and if you guys are new to the channel and you're like, okay, well, what the, what the fuck is that? Pretty much, Labradite Ubel is, I'm running Labradite, I'm running Mally, I go and tell Tamaya, you, you guys get it, you guys get it, yeah, you get it, you get it, you get it. So, uh, this is actually one of the couple of decks that I was actually thinking about taking off on the channel. Temporarily, tell it all the chain comes back, just because it requires a lot of setup. A lot of setup, you know. Uh, right now, I didn't open up two tower, but at least just my opponent here set a butt ton of back row. But, you know, I could simply just go, you know, Dark Reffer, Pitch the Mallee, Send the Labradite, Swing, Summon the Labradite, Mallee Effect, Banish the Mallee, Summon the Mallee, Go and tell to my Set the Oasis and Summon, like, a Beals or something. Like, I have the play right now, it's just, oh, that fucking back row. <laughs> but, hey... What can you do in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? What can you do? But yeah, uh, you know, there's a couple of decks in Vitamin Y for YouTube channel. There's a couple of decks on Vitamin Y that are very combo-based. This deck, uh, tomorrow you'll see u Exceeds, and on Friday you'll see uh, my main u deck, Super Vice u -Bell. And those are very combo-based, you know. They require me to send more than one monster to the graveyard. And uh, if I can't send... If I can't send those monsters, I can't even start playing, you know. Like, like really, what am I going to do until I, of course... I'll say, until I send, uh, uh, you know, Labradite, get a Mally, uh, you know, possibly even Ubel. Like, there's other things that I gotta send and Ubel, you know, until I get those things uh, set up. I mean, what am I doing, right? So, especially when your opponent plays a lot of back row, I need a little of chain to uh, do the combo. Alright, number generator is getting really stupid here. <laughs> it's cute. Like, every single time I summon a monster, this man is like, alright, and number generated back, right? Like, bottomless Toronto. Is this a solemn morning, sir? <laughs> it's getting kind of dumb. <laughs> it actually is. It's actually getting kind of dumb. And then, of course, he's just gonna activate fucking resurface and get his shit right back. Like, right back. This card you control is destroyed by battle or trap effect in central gravity. You can target one face of monster controller controls. Uh, equip this card to that target, and then you take control of it. And then what does this do? Oh, it's the whole archetype. The whole goddamn archetype is a fucking snap steal. That is disgusting. That that makes me sick to my goddamn stomach. But yeah. anyway, I'll go ahead and activate this during the end phase. Okay. Oh, he said not to ask him, so I guess I'll just do my play. I said it's not like he has many cards left. Oh, I was going to draw Dark Gruffer anyway. I was like, oh, I'm not going to draw Dark Gruffer, so... Uh, I got all three Dark Gruffers in this duel, <laughs> But yeah, I temporarily think about taking them down because they're really combo-based and putting, you know, uh, Ubel decks that are a little bit less combo-based. So, uh, we have Ubel decks from the past that didn't use the Wobble Chain and could come back, such as Ubel Insectors and uh, Shadal Ubel. Of course, Shadal's is not on the channel, not on Daily Duel, so you get to see Shadal's that way, which would be, you know, a cool, uh, unique way of coming at it. It's just I'm not a, the biggest fan of Shadal's. So, uh, there you go. And, uh, another thing that you guys can, uh, go ahead, I mean, another deck, uh, let's see, let's see, well, those two are from the past that I was thinking about bringing back. And then I have other decks that I made, but just haven't, like, tried out yet, which, uh, depending on what you guys think, I was actually gonna leave this to you guys, I'm probably gonna create a separate video just to put it up. But I was going to leave it to you guys because, you know, we have a routine on this channel. If you're new to the channel, we have a routine where we use these decks. And when we get sick of them, we get sick of them. But generally, it takes me a little while. I and mean, you can see the title of this episode is probably up in, like, 30s, 40s or something. I just, you know, when I only have to play the deck once per week, you know, I don't mind playing it for a while. You know, like, if it was every day, I would get sick of it real quick. But, you know, it's once per, it's once per week. I come around once, <laughs> once every couple of uh, weeks and do my thing, right? So... I'm gonna and pitch you. We're gonna go ahead and send you Bell. Uh Oh, I mean, I can still do the play. Yeah, I can still do the play. So, 
the one I want to go into is definitely clearing. Once per turn during its first turn, this one right here, the stack effect. Once per turn during your first turn, when a monster effect is activated, that target exactly one level five or higher a monster on the field, you can uh, negate the activation if you do destroy it. That's during the damage step because it negates, right? Yeah, I believe that if it negates, it's during the damage step, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I could just go into Scrap Dragon and then start popping him. I'm just worried about him, you know, you know, snatching me up. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, we'll go ahead and overlay these two into the uh, Emerald. And clearly see, pretty combo based. You know, at least I don't have to worry about, you know, bottomless to turn to tribute. Those are long gone, so. Go ahead and go with that. Not great. Smiley effect. So, uh, the, the decks that I made but haven't tried yet. I've been talking about them, but I just haven't I mean, I had the opportunity. I was gonna, I was gonna use them on webcam duels, but like I said, I don't like using webcam duels on, uh, for my live videos as a testing grounds to uh, trying decks. I, I really don't. Hold on, hold on. Alright, I looked it up. I was just like making sure, yes, you can activate Clear Wing during the damage step. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> that is exactly what I'm going to go ahead and do is do the damage step up. And summon you. And I can actually go ahead and summon another Ultimire, which I think I'll do. I generally like to have two, just so I can go ahead and uh, lock it down. And this is only when you target the... If you, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, just period. Alright, I thought it was the one that killed it, so... Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and go Mali Effect again. We're going to go ahead and go for another Ultimaya. That way, you know, they're protecting each other. Because, of course, this last effect down here is cannot be targeted for attacks or by card effects while I control another face-up Synchro monster. So even if he somehow gets rid of my clear one Synchro Dragon, because generally that's what they do. They get, they take or get rid of the this monster, and then this monster is a sitting duck. So that, this way, uh, I'll have them both protected by each other. So neither one of them can be attacked, and neither one of them can be targeted. So then he top deck fucking Regeki, and then I fucking kill myself. <laughs> that would be terrible. That would be terrible, 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 especially since I'm so low on resources now. Target. Go ahead, watch him top deck Regeki. I swear to God, because that's like the only thing that I'm susceptible right to right now. I got a pretty nice setup, but if he Regeki's me, then oh my God, I will be eating the fattest of ones. You know, I could slowly take out these Gradles. I, I don't care if he takes this guy Goose Armor. Well, actually, I totally wouldn't mind if he took that Goose, Goose Armor. I mean, really, what's he going to do with it? He can't use its first effect because it doesn't have enough monsters. And he, he doesn't, can't use his second effect. So if he wants to go ahead and take my Goose actually, actually just attack with my, my Goose Armor. I don't know why I didn't. Don't know why I didn't. <sighs> yep, that's the point. I mean, you're running a fucking Snatch Steel fucking shit. Yep. Yep. Yep, that's the idea. That is the idea. You cannot touch neither one of them. <laughs> neither one of them can be attacking. Neither one of them can uh, be targeted. And, of course, if I do get a... Uh... No, no. I'm, 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 go I'm going too aggressive f to back off like that. No, I don't want to summon any more monsters. I was thinking about summoning, but I don't want to summon any more monsters. Your effect. Mm hmm. Target. Sure. Like I said, I don't need him anymore. I really don't. So I'm just gonna kill him. 
I'd rather have the Emerald dead and get him off the damn field. Because now, literally, if I draw a fucking card that I can set, that's two monsters. That's two more monsters for these last two spaces. I sit here and talk about how this, how combo basis deck is, how much setup it is, and look, I look what I'm doing. I'm already putting in that work already. I just need a piece of back row. Like I don't care. Spell the trap. Let me set it, and then here we go. Like that's gonna be game. Ooh, ooh. Both effects. I think I will go ahead and summon a bills and a scrap. Oh, you want to play enemies? Yep, sure. Okay. Damn, Vanities too. This man literally opened up with Bottomless, Torrental, and Vanities all first turn. That is crazy. That is some craziness, people. That's fine. Welcome back. Uh -huh. Yeah, you should have. Yeah. Yeah, especially with your number generator. <laughs> yeah. She's hella bad. Are you fired? <laughs> Alright, people. Mom. Yeah, of course you guys know she's back from the hospital. And uh, with her back from the hospital, she didn't go to work. Boss is totally mad at her. Like, what, what, what were you supposed to do? You know, what were you supposed to do? She said I could have called, but I didn't feel like it. <laughs> could have called. You were, you were in the ER. <laughs> no, Monday. Called for what? Monday? Yeah. I guess. I, I guess. So, still can't do much. Vandy's emptiness made this duel a screeching heart. A screeching, said, screeching heart? Screeching halt. What's up? She said, I have the termination papers already. Damn! No call, no show Monday. Damn, she had them termination papers ready. <laughs> Whipped out my doctor's paper. <laughs> and threw it at it. Yep. And then she was like, oh. But we'll see you Friday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's game. <laughs> Sorry, if you're new to the channel. I'm, sometimes I'm a little bit unprofessional like that. You know, uh, I live with my mom. And, <laughs> and I have no way. Uh, I don't have a recording booth or anything. And so, eventually I'll move out. <laughs> Grab effect. Target fields and your monster. Blow that up. <laughs> Thank you. Yay, beat Gradles. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and get another good one. But yeah, uh, the, the, the two decks that I no one's seen yet, I made them and then I really had an opportunity to try them. Like I said, I was going to try my webcam duels, but I don't want to do that. I don't want, I don't want webcam duels to be a testing grounds for that. What I originally made webcam duels to be is just, you know, people watching me use decks that aren't on daily duels uh, or uh, Diamond Y, which they can go ahead and, oh, it's Kaiju's. Ew. All right. Kaiju, of course, he's just gonna go ahead and tribute my monster. That sucks. I don't, I don't wanna duel against Kaiju, so he's just gonna tribute my shit. I don't even wanna set a monster! Like, oh my god. Like, you shouldn't have told me that. You shouldn't have told me that. I'm gonna go ahead and deck him, though. I'll go ahead and get the Dark Graffer. Like I said, I could go straight off right now. I opened up fantastically. I just go pitch, special, pitch, send, normal, XC, Emerald, detach, summon. Banish, summon, set. I mean, we'll go and ultimate a set, but fucking kaijus, man. I'm gonna get it. I don't like kaijus. They're like, they're like a deck that's based off of a uh, off of a uh, like lava golem and like volcanic queen. You know? Like I already don't like that. And, <laughs> and he's using the hands too. Like great, it's gonna be a fun duel. Said no one ever. Drop you. Like, no, no extra deck. Like, all right, I guess. Oh, I could just kill that ice hand. I'm not sending any back row, nor do I plan on to. So, the question is, should I crash or should I risk it? No, I'm not gonna crash. I'm gonna risk it. Should I discard the special? I'm thinking about just discarding the special just to make sure that this Mally gets in the graveyard. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So even if he hits me in the back row, the, the pitch is the, the cost. 
Oh, let me go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna go ahead and use effect. I was just saying how I didn't have a lot of chain. It's gonna take me a while to get set up. I literally just sent all three of them to the graveyard again in this duel. Man, I hate, I, I, I hate it. I hate it. Now I'm doing all well. Got that mirror force. Yeah, I'll crash. I don't need the dark graph. I mean, I don't need that. I'm good night. I'll crash. You want to use your call to hunted for it? More power to you. It kind of sucks that I could have done emerald and shit, but it's fine. I'll go ahead and tap this, even though, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and foolish. So I've never, I've never done this. So Grendel, Gren, Grendel's and Kaiju. This is all the new decks in this video. I mean, of course, people want to test it out and stuff. And what better place to test it out than an unrated, right? Right? I said I could, I could summon my ultimate, uh, ult ultimoto, ult ult ultimaya. I'm gonna go ahead and take a hundred and then blow me up and then mm hmm I said hands. Hands are still very, very powerful. They just fade in and out of popularity. There's a couple of cards like that. But uh yeah, the decks. I keep on forgetting that I was talking about that. It's uh, Evil Hero Ebell, which I tried to make in the past but didn't work. Then I started actually working on it and it actually came out pretty decently. So that and uh Mmm. I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this oasis. Definitely go ahead and get rid of the oasis and just kill him. So, um, Mystic Tomato, I don't like you when I'm already set up, but it's fine. I'll probably just go ahead and normal summon you. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and just normal summon you. So far, I haven't seen much back row, but we might be seeing some. Definitely want to go into a, a clear wing. Definitely. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate this, summon Labradite, summon Maui, go into Ultima. That counts as Synchro Summon, so Oasis is gone. So there's no none of this. Uh, set this oh well, the swing. I have to set it. Mm. Mm. I might just go ahead and summon the tomato. Yeah, summon the tomato. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna attack with the with I'm not gonna use Ultima's effect yet. Yeah, they're, 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 they're super floater. Super, super, super floaty. Go ahead and summon that. Activate Mally. I feel like with all you guys watching now and with all these subscribers, I gotta hold my content to a higher standard. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still just being me. I know. You guys are probably just sitting here watching this, watching me use this deck and you're like, wait, you wanna take this deck off? Like, you're doing really well. Like, I don't know. I just opened up really well these, these, la these last two duels. I said I could go ahead and you know set but there's no point in me doing that. I'll go ahead and summon Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight, get your effects and it's ultimate nightmare I guess. I mean there's not much left to send. We'll go ahead and kill one of your dandy tokens. Cause why not? Main phase two, we'll go ahead and set this. Effect. And I said I have a feeling Oh, even if he summons even if he's, I think I'm gonna go for Bills just because I'm afraid of Regeki. Like if he straight up Regeki's me, I'm getting wrecked. Oh, but also I can just go ahead and do the swing combo again. Yeah, I'm gonna summon Bills. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Bills and uh, just do the combo again, like I did last duel. Oh, I fucked up. Oh no, I had to, I had to set the swing to summon first. I was like, wait, like I fucked up. I could have got two for one. Like no, no, I couldn't have got two for one. Because I need to go ahead and set that to go ahead and do this play first. Yeah, because I had, to, I clearly had to set first to get the effect. Because if I just activated it, then I would have nothing to set. So it's better than freaking nothing. One is better than nothing. Now I'm just worried about freaking Regeki, like you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll throw the Regeki at me so I can just be like, God dang it. And that's why I summon Beals. <laughs> Once again, it's just one little monster that's preventing me from summoning twice. I like this little lock. I do. I, I, was, I was running only two Ultimize, but you know, when I figure out I could just start pulling off like three, then why not? 
So two of them locking it down. Like I said, it's just a it's just tribute. I forgot I was dueling for fun. I thought I totally forgot I was dueling kaiju's. Completely and utterly forgot. Of course. Of course! I knew it was fucking Regeki. That's it. There's no fucking way. Like, wow. I, I knew you had Regeki. I knew you had it. I knew you had it. Fucking number generator. No, 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 no shit. Only the one. I've got fucking nothing. No, no, the Regeki. I don't care about your fucking kaijus. You act like Judge. I don't know why people are like, oh yeah, Drew, Drew. Yeah, I know, I know. You top deck it? Top deck it? I'm saying, it's just so much. Like, I can't even get anything out. There's so much destruction in this game right now. I got nothing. I am I'm literally drawing into fucking nothing. All out of Mali plays. I literally need a limit reverse right now. Wow, you're going on the defensive? I would have went on the offensive. If I were you. Oh yes. Yeah, but then you can just tribute me for a damn kaiju. I don't like kaiju just cause it's just like lava golem. Like stop. Okay. I can go for Leo. Ladies and gentlemen, I can go for Leo. I'm gonna go for Leo. Fuck it. It's not like I can really do another alternate play right now. Now with another Mali. Synchro Shokan. Leo. Back. Go. Yep. And now you already used your damn Regeki, but you said you have two more Dark Holes, so I guess I'll get some of that, too. And you can just summon a Kaiju and tribute my shit, so that's a method, too. As I said, I'm trying, but I knew he had the Regeki. I'm like, god damn it. I was like, what, I'm not the Regeki, right? Of course, of course, of course. This is annoying. This is annoying. It's like fucking, it's like facing lava golem dot deck. Why did your monster die? Oh, you summoned an attack position. Okay. Well, that's nice. Like I said, I wish I had a limit reverse. I wish I had more trap revival. Really. Shit, if I can get like a call of the hunter oasis or something, that would be great. Because I can summon Leo back because it would actually summon properly. Whatever. Like I said, I don't like Kaijus. Like I said, it's literally like facing Lava Golem dot deck. It's disgusting. It is literally facing Lava Golem dot deck, and now he's building up resources, building up back row. Twenty-four booty. Whoo! Let me reverse. Labradite is putting in work. It's called. It's not called Labradite Evo for a reason. Labradite is it's putting in that work. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and chain. Wait, is that destroyed by your opponent? When this card in your possession is destroyed by your opponent, you have a card back on that. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Go ahead. Never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. It has to be destroyed by your opponent, so you don't even get your effect. Now I get Regaki. Like I said, I'm not going to summon you Bell unless I totally need to, and right now it just seems like I can take the duel slow. I wish I had something more to do with you Bell, though. I'm saying, I, I need something, another revival card, please. And this is the problem with fucking running shit like this. Maybe I should run like another Leo. 
Not that it wouldn't matter, it's not like I have another card, though. And like I said, he could just keep on tributing my goddamn monsters. Like, this deck is like the worst thing for me to face. Even if I fu fucking summon, uh, you know you don't reveal him, you, you know you don't reveal him, right? It says look at the top card, not reveal the top five. Okay, I guess. Foolish. That's totally not what I need. Like, what the fuck am I gonna foolish now? There's nothing to foolish. There's nothing to foolish. I'd be foolish to activate foolish. So he was sent properly. Air Force. I got to attack him. Cool. Don't those have the way it don't don't doesn't doesn't the uh, Leo and it says, it says each time a card card each time a card is sent to the graveyard, place one counter. So wouldn't they be sent simultaneously? Because the Leo and the Call of the Haunted resolve together. <sighs> this duel is annoying. Sure. Pay that two thousand. His deck is already annoying. That game? Huh. Oh, that was a difficult duel. I did it, though. I did it. Thank you, Revival. Love you, Revival. Yep. I asked you if he was okay. I said, I wasn't surprised you would have Bottomless. Though, how late the duel is in the number generator? Bottomless warning. I was getting Regeki, Fuller, Soul Charge. Like I said, number generator is just like, what? Anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and call that. So, like I said, it was Evil Hero You Bell and Umber You Bell, the decks that I made but just haven't used yet. So I don't know. I don't know. I might do like a, like a, a vitamin Y lineup for next week. That's you know different from this lineup this week, where I'll use those four decks and then maybe we can go ahead and decide maybe if we want to uh, put one of those decks on vitamin Y temporarily and replace it for some of these. But for right now, since there's a whole bunch of new viewers, I'm just going to go ahead and use the uh, normal Ubel decks. So, uh, Arcane, which you saw yesterday. Then Labradite today, Ubel Exceeds. Uh, Cosmic Ubel, or Yang Zing, Zing, Yang Zing Ubel, which I made more Ubel base. So you'll get to go ahead and see some of that. Supervised Ubel, yeah. So, those five. Those five this week. The live video will not be a... Uh, webcam duels because I just I'm busy making other decks right now. I'm busy with channel too busy to go ahead and you know get suggestions for you know what deck to use on webcam duels. Nor do I want to test uh, those Ubel decks. I'll use them next week. And uh, yeah, then we'll just decide accordingly what we want to do with uh, the Vime and Y lineup. So uh, the live video, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do like another top five. Those are easy to do. And they're fun. They're fun. So uh, I don't know what top what it'll be, but we'll find out this Thursday. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Iron and Y. Apologize it's a little long, but we had some difficult duels. We've we faced off against the new decks and uh we won. We won. It's not bad. So 
uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with Ebel All right, people. Thanks for watching.